When I was young, I would start drawing on the wall and slowly the images grew bigger and bigger. But my mom didn't like it because I was uh, doing something on the wall. I have about uh, over 4,000 pieces of work, including sketches, drawings, sculptures, paintings, prints, etchings. It's a lot of work I did. I, I need, to, need an encyclopedia of Alex Tavares to put them all together. <laughs> Every moment I have, I'm, I'm doing either a sketch or a watercolor or working on a sculpture, etc., etc., because I cannot stop being creative. I take old discarded photographs and I try to cut the top layer and peel it off in order to create the image. A professor from the University of Kenya in Nairobi came to visit the exhibition. He said, you know what, I came to your exhibition, I walked backwards out of the exhibition hall because I couldn't stand it, I couldn't look at it. It was so powerful that it drove me back instead of drawing me to it. So that made me really feel good. I was teaching for 20 years in uh, Toronto at the Wexford Collegiate for the Arts. But prior to that, I thought in Kenya, I was a coordinator for art for the government of Kenya. I have one favorite, it's called Weeping Mandovi, and it's about Goa. It still is very significant and symbolic to the lifestyle of, of the people who live there. I wish I could have been able to expose my work more, but unfortunately, uh, maybe the competition is too big. There are lots of people who have not seen my work, but I think if they see my work, they would think that there is something to learn and gain out of it. I'm a good artist, that's about it.